So with the negative stuff, because I, I post a fair bit on what to watch for. The because the, the thing is, people need to understand that the stuff I share is not a. Uh, it's a it's a basic list of warnings for a lot of it, um, just for things to be aware of. Now, for I'll give a list of positive stuff. Why I live in the Philippines when I'm there. Um, first thing is my my wife and her family are from Mindanilia, so that's our base. Um, we've got the compound next to my mother and father-in-law. Um, that's that's home. Um, I like the fact that you can do whatever you want most of the time. If I decided that I wanted to build a space rocket in the garden, nobody would even complain. They wouldn't even batter an eyelid. They're just like, okay. Nobody's bothered what you're doing. It's just laid back. Here in Spain, if I want to put solar panels on the roof, I'd have to fill in some forms and have to meet a committee and all sorts. Um, yeah, the UK is the same. Everything's a problem. I like the fact that you can hire a bus off its route. You can hire a jeepney and say we're going to the Taurus Temple today and we're taking 11 relatives, so I want the bus. And you just hire it off its route. And I'm talking about literally you can go along the side of the road and ask and you can negotiate the price there and then and they'll do it. Um, I like the fact people will put themselves out. You, know, you can buy anything. Um, We've had people deliver stuff that aren't delivery guys. It's just that we're going, oh, can you take that for us? And they go, oh, yeah, no problem. I like the fact that there's plenty of restaurants, if you know where they are. They're not all in the same place. Banilad has some good restaurants. Uh, Oleo is up there. That's one of my top restaurants for Cebu. Um, Miss Saigon, Big Bangkok, another great restaurant. That's also up Banilad. Um... Yellow Cab Pizzas, just off about five minutes walk from the uh, Rotunda, uh, Osmena Circle in Central Cebu. They do some great pizzas. SM Mall has Esparo, S-B-A-R-R-O, Esparo Pizzas in the basement. They're really good. Um, what have I missed? Oh, there's a great... A Greek restaurant on the terraces at Ayala. But the fact is, there's great restaurants about. You know, the, the where things are a problem is when you're buying groceries because a lot of the stuff you want isn't available. But things are starting to change because you've got to remember, Filipinos are becoming westernized. As such, they're becoming more um, financially better off but also they're going home at some points, and as such, they want access to this stuff. If you've got 10 million people overseas, at some point you're going to have, I don't know, 100,000 at home every single week. Um, so at some point, you've got a market there, and it's slowly changing. For the better. Um, S SNR. Um, which is a big, it's a bit like, uh, what do you, Costco, it's like that. They have a lot of great stuff in there. We bought the, you know, the big caterpillar that kids have got, that's where that come from, and the playhouse. We we spent a lot of money in there. I, I, I mean, the funny thing is they charge you for a membership card, which is sort of ridiculous considering I probably spent probably five to six thousand dollars in there within as many months. Um... But there are so many good things. I like the fact that I can leave the house, go to the mountains within five minutes, and there's a temperature drop just after the rain, and it's just amazing. You've got that greenery where it's all been washed away. And I love it. I like the fact that I can get on my motorbike, head to the south of Cebu Island, and be in Marlborough Wall with fantastic white beaches. Go north, and I can be in San Remeo another set of fantastic beaches and go over to Mactan and grab a boat and go island hopping on a sandbank or something like that there's so many good things about the Philippines I'll sure say there's so many good things about Cebu because although I've been to Negros Island, Bohol and a few other and Manila etc I generally talk about Cebu because that's where I have the most knowledge I don't like myself or anybody else talking about stuff they don't know um, Bahol I found interesting, the bits I've seen, but I haven't been to the interior. So 
Sorry about drink my coffee. It's just I'm on the school run this morning, so I just have my coffee before I get re- dressed in five minutes. Um, so when I put this negative stuff out, it's not negative. It's information. Um, there is a lot of positive stuff. I love the fact that my family's so embedded with each other. They look after each other. When my mother-in-law was sick, I put money forward, and so did my brother-in-law. We function as a family group. The West has lost that in many ways. I don't even talk to my sister most of the time because she does my nutting. Um, but I won't go into that. But the the fact is I have a closer connection with my Filipino family than I do with my sister, for example. Even my brother-in-law, we have a close connection, even though we hardly see each other because we only go back to the Philippines now and again because he works in Macau so the family bond is quite strong with us Um, so that's why I say you know there's a lot of positive stuff that's why we live there the negative stuff yeah you get it and like the cousin next door that I shouldn't really talk about he does my nutting Um, he doesn't look after his child and girlfriend as well as he should do Um, but that's me bordering on somebody else's life so I can't really comment too much but some stuff does bug me I like the fact that I have the ability to sit in my office in the Philippines I should have filmed this when I was there out of my bedroom window I have my computer desk by the window and the joke being I've got a an actual office next door to it as well. I sit and watch the sunrise because I've been working late at night for the US, UK, etc. I sit and watch the sunrise through my window. Those are the things I love about the Philippines. Also, my wife, the kids. I love the way the kids are allowed to be kids because the Filipinos know that later on life is crap, so they let the kids be kids. Bad side is trying to discipline them afterwards, which is what we've got in Spain at the moment. I'm trying to adjust the kids to more Western ways. But going to the school, oh my God, you've got 30 different languages spoke at the school. Um, So you've got people that often don't have discipline. The parents don't, so the kids have none. (laughs) So it's quite quite, um, interesting. But at the same time, I love the way we live. Um, The negative stuff in the Philippines, like I said, is about a little list of making sure that you keep yourself safe. If I actually save several people's lives over this, or just one, um, then these videos have all been worthwhile. It's as simple as that. That's all I care about, is that people are happy, safe, and enjoying life. Thanks for watching.